Curious George's Dinosaur Discovery by Margaret and H. A. Rays. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved to go places with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. One of their favorite places to visit was the Dinosaur Museum. Today is a special day, George's friend said. We are going to do something very interesting. George was curious. What could be more interesting than a trip to the Dinosaur Museum? The man with the yellow hat led the way through the museum. George wanted to stop and look at the dinosaur bones, but his friend kept going. So George kept following. Finally, they walked right out the back door. George and the man with the yellow hat climbed into a van and rode to a rocky quarry. Dozens of people were there. Some were digging with shovels. Others were using pickaxes or other kinds of tools. By looking at the picture, what do you think a quarry is? A rocky quarry. It looks like it might be a place. What place does it look like the workers are at? What kind of tools do you notice these scientists are using? Surprise! George's friend said, we will be helping the museum scientists dig for dinosaur bones. George was curious. Were there really dinosaurs buried in the quarry? He ran over for a better look. George watched the scientist work. She dug up some dirt and put it into her sifting pan. It took a long time to sift it, and in the end, no dinosaur bones. Oh well, she said, time to try again. Boys and girls, a sifting pan kind of looks like a colander that your parents use to drain spaghetti noodles, except it's flat and round like a pan. It will help have all the dirt sift out the bottom and leave any big objects still in the pan. But the next pan was empty too. So was the next one and the one after that. George yawned. <gasps> so far, digging for dinosaurs was not as exciting as he'd expected. George was curious. How could he help find dinosaur bones? He found a spare shovel lying nearby. He dug and dug, but he didn't find any dinosaurs. When he climbed out of his hole, George spotted another scientist. He was dusting something with a small brush. Oh well, the scientist said, this is not a bone just a rock. George wanted to help. He picked up a brush and went to work. But it turns out that monkeys are not very good at dusting. As he hurried away from the cloud of dust, George bumped into a wheelbarrow. Maybe there were dinosaur bones in it. He climbed up to look inside but the wheelbarrow was awfully tippy. Crash! George, the wheelbarrow, and a whole lot of dirt went flying. Hey! Someone cried. What's that monkey doing? George scampered away, straight up the cliff. Monkeys are good at climbing, so George kept going higher and higher. When he got to the top, he accidentally knocked a stone over the edge. That stone hit another stone, which hit another stone, and another, oh no, it was a rock slide. George could hardly believe what he saw. 
dinosaur bones. After that, the dinosaur dig was even more fun. George helped the scientists dig and sift and dust and take photographs of the bones he had found. And the next time he and the man with the yellow hat visited the dinosaur museum, George got to see his dinosaur on display. The end.